Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the custodian of the two holy mosques, on the success and immaculate organization of this year's Hajj season. His Majesty the King praised the outstanding efforts led by the Saudi monarch and his government to accommodate pilgrims and provide them with the best services to perform Hajj rituals with comfort, ease, and safety. His Majesty the King also commended the ongoing expansion projects, the development of new services, and the use of advanced technology throughout the holy sites to meet the needs of the pilgrims. His Majesty the King congratulated the pilgrims on the completion of Hajj and extended his best wishes to King Salman and to the Saudi government for further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. He also wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the success of this year's Hajj season. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended Saudi Arabia's efforts led by King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and its government to accommodate the pilgrims with the best services that enable them to perform their Hajj rituals with comfort, ease, and safety. His Royal Highness also commended the ongoing expansion projects, the development of new services, and the use of advanced technology throughout the holy sites to meet the current needs of the pilgrims. His Royal Highness congratulated the pilgrims on the completion of Hajj and extended his best wishes of further progress and prosperity to Saudi Arabia, wishing the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent similar cable to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and governor of Mecca, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid Al Faisal bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Qatari Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani. The Qatari Prime Minister extended Eid al Adha greetings and blessings to His Royal Highness, along with well wishes for progress and prosperity to both countries and their peoples. He conveyed the greetings of the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and to His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness, in return, relayed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa along with his own to the Emir of Qatar, also expressing best wishes of progress and prosperity for Qatar. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, affirmed that the ministry has completed preparing the academic calendar for the next academic year, 2023-2024. Early, the Minister of Education affirmed that publishing the academic calendar with the beginning of summer vacation will help the students and parents to plan well and prepare appropriately for the most important stages of the school year. He noted that the academic calendar includes the most important stages of the next academic year, official and student holidays, as well as exam dates. The Minister of Education revealed that the Ministry has completed the preparation of the necessary studies to implement the rescheduling of school hours for secondary school students, which will be implemented starting from the next academic year. The school hours for secondary school students will end at 1.45 p.m., and this will allow the Ministry to achieve a set of goals after the school hours have been rescheduled for the primary and intermediate stages. The Minister of Education affirmed that the Ministry will publish school bus waiting timings in the morning and school departure times at noon. In this context, the Ministry of Education affirmed its continuous endeavor to develop public and private schools and increase their ability to support and enhance the performance of students in educational attainment. The Ministry also asserted that the last academic year witnessed an outstanding performance by schools and students with the support and follow-up of the supporting educational sectors and parents to achieve remarkable results at the end of the academic year. The Ministry of Education stressed the role of the Education and Training Quality Authority reports in providing feedback and guiding information that educators benefit from in the educational field, stating that the Ministry relies on a set of information sources that provide the necessary indicators about students' performance, the level of curricula and the teaching methods. The Ministry of Education also relies on the reports of the BQA regarding the level of performance of the schools that are visited in the audits and the Ministry of Education relies on the reports of the International Association for the Evaluation of Academic Achievements in measuring the level of performance in mathematics and science, the TIMS, and in measuring reading skills, the PEARLS. 
Bahrain's Hajj mission has continued its visits to pilgrims in the holy sites to ensure their safety. After Bahrain's pilgrims performed their rituals on the first day of Eid al-Adha and then on the first day of at tashriq in light of the organizational procedures provided by the Saudi government. Through the provision of integrated teams from the Ministry of Interior and other security agencies that showed high level of professionalism and proficiency. Also, the Bahraini campaign owners committed to the movement plans in Al Masha'a railway project, which saves pilgrims time and effort. The pilgrims have also continued to perform their rites on the first day of a tashriq by flocking to the Jamarat bridge in Mina to perform the stoning rituals. The relevant authorities in the holy sites are working on easing the movement of the pilgrims at the Jamarat bridge with the implementation of intensive preventative plans and measures for the pilgrims to perform the stoning rituals with ease and the pilgrims were dispatched via buses from their camps in Mina to the Jamarat bridge according to pre-planned dispatch plans. The first of the three days of Tashriq comes on the 11th of Dhul Hijjah which ends with sunset on the 13th of Dhul Hijjah. Al Masha'ar train trips for this year's Hajj season continue for seven days during which the pilgrims are transported via between the train's nine stations in Mina Arafat and Muzdalifa. This confirms the role played by the Saudi Railways, SAR, in serving the pilgrims by harnessing all material and human potentialities to facilitate the journey of the pilgrims and their movements during the performance of their rituals.